Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. Yay, I love Scrappy Saturday. Okay, let's say hi and hugs and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Hi and hugs to Darcy, Christy, Tammy, and Sherry. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay guys, well, I need some covers. Hard to believe, I know, because I tell you, I have... I have a lot of covers over there, but I do. I'm I'm needing some covers for a purple journal and a blue journal. So I am going to be collaging today. We're going to be making scraps and then we'll be using scraps too. So I have these two papers from Tsunami Rose that I'm going to use on the purple one a bit. These papers are all from um, Artsology. And there's purple bits in there that I'm gonna grab. These are from Tailor Made Journals. So, so yeah, there's just a bit in each one of those. Um, I did bring over a couple of Amazon packages that I can can uh, be collaging on. But I thought for this one, I'm gonna use old book pages. So these book pages are not quite nine i thought they were nine but they're not so we're gonna make them work though so let's see these are about what are they about eight and a half i think we could do like an inch on this so we're gonna make the base first okay so i'm gonna do a couple of strips that are about an inch and we will we will fix this so i want this to be nine inches tall so i'm going to put that there i'm going to put this here and um maybe we'll just glue it huh i i could use washi or something but here's my glue pages which don't look a whole lot different <laughs> than the ones we're going to make this journal cover out of. But, you know, that's kind of how it goes. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue there. Not going to worry about it too much because we're going to be gluing over this. But I do want it to be nine inches tall. Okay, so there's one. And then this one. And as we go along, I will tell you how I'm going to kind of finish this off. But, okay, so those are our two bases. So what I'm going to do, I want it to be 12 inches wide, right? So I'm going to put this at 6. I'm going to put this at... Um, Let's see, 18. And then, oops, I stuck to it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna take a piece of Tyvek and I am going to cut it at nine inches, approximately. Okay, scissors, okay, and then I am going to just, I don't know if I'm on camera or off camera over here, I'm pretty much on, I'm just going to put a strip of glue stick down each side of this. Anyway, okay, and then I'm just going to make sure it's all lined up. And then I'm just going to lay that down here. Okay, 
So that's going to be our base. And um, we're just going to work with this. I had a question on an earlier video about what do you use for collage? What weight of paper? And I will say I, I really use... Um, copy paper for the most part sometimes the i'll have printed on my um let's put this aside to dry for a second sometimes i will have printed on my red river paper company sometimes it's that but um and also once in a while there's a few pieces of um the paper studio paper which is real thin scrapbooking paper but for the most part, I don't use, you know, cardstock type of scrap of paper at all. Um, and the reason for that is uh, we've got the base, right? We've got the decorative side. We've also got um, the writing side. So you're going to have three, three thicknesses of paper anyway. And so um, I don't want it to be too, too thick. Now, with the scrapbooking paper, though, you can do Franken paper, and I haven't done that in forever, so I'll have to do that in a future video. I, I told the viewer that I would. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's, it's, as they say, has been a minute. Yeah, so uh, that, that one is... That's how I, I work that. Um, these other ones, I pretty much just want little pieces, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, are you, are you getting dry? Okay, this side, I think it's going to be the outside. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even that up afterwards. I'll just make sure it's 9 by 12. But let's let's get busy doing some doing some collaging. Yeah, in this video, I'm gonna work on <laughs> oh, I'm gonna work on not saying so as much. I had a constructive criticism, let's just say. So so <laughs> I know, I know, I say it a lot. It's my thinking word. You know how you have to have a thinking word? Okay. I am going to line this up on my mat. Just kind of will help me maybe get it somewhat square. See, that's not square. Yeah. Okay. Let's glue. It's not so much talking. Yes, um, the video was the one where my video cut out on me and I had to start over and I didn't really know what I was going to do in that video. And I know in between things and as I'm thinking, I'll either say okay or so. And... I don't want people to be annoyed, so I'm going to try not to say it all the time. Okay, maybe we'll do this in the other corners, just kind of winging it here. Just going to get papers down. Um, yeah. And I know they don't have to watch and all of that, but I kind of feel like if one person has said it, maybe others are thinking it. <laughs> I don't know. I know you guys always tell me not to worry about such things, but it's hard not to. Yeah. Well, the other thing is this doesn't need to be doesn't have to be perfect. It's it's homemade, you know? That's the homemade part of it. 
uh, I did go through all of my digitals looking for purple pieces and uh, found found these. Okay, now I'm gonna look at some of these. So this one just had this corner that I thought would go. It's a little more, it's almost a little more pink than it is purple, but we're gonna go with it anyways. Then I need blue ones too. I think I figured out I need three purple, um, three purple covers and three B covers. And I also need blue covers, I think. So yeah, I, I have some covers to make in my, in my future here, but I, um, I have so many covers over there too. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, you're going to make more covers and you have so many covers already. I think I'll put that across there. So I, I, mm, there it is again. <laughs> Maybe it'll be more annoying for me trying not to say it. Um, yeah, anyway, there's no purple over there. Okay, that. Let's see what's on this one. Oh yeah, this whole little whole little side right there had some purple to it. I probably should have tore all these edges before I started the video, but as it is, I'm gonna be late for lunch. I told Mike. I'll be a little late today. I had a had a late start, but oh my gosh, yesterday I didn't sleep well. And so last night, oh, I just conked out. That's one thing. Usually if you have one rough night, then gosh. See that is just a little I don't know, we may have to look for some more papers. Okay, this one. This one is so pretty. Should I go down the middle with it? Hmm. I'm gonna put that like right about there and we'll collage around it. So when I get done, <laughs> oh, forget it, I can't do it. <laughs> if I say so, I say so, okay? Anyway, once I get this all done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from corner to corner and up like this just to kind of tie it together is what I was going to say there. Let's see. I thought this yeah, it has a little, little bits of purple in it. Let's rip that whole thing and use some of that. Um, I have, I think I have all of Deb at Artsology, all of her collage tear papers. She's got multiple kits of them. And they are just so great. I love them. So hello to you, Deb. And thank you for sharing all your gorgeousness here. Okay, so now let me just cut a few and see. Like this corner's very purpley. So I actually think I'm gonna tear one that will work right there. We'll go from there. 
because I want a piece right here. The other thing you could do is sew around each block and make it look kind of quilted if you wanted. That's another thought. All right. Ooh, I love that. That's a nice, almost like a neutral. I think I will. Love the, love the collaging. It's so relaxing. I mean, like I couldn't wait to get down here and do this video today. <laughs> Even though I was like, really? You don't have any, um, you don't have anything you can use as far as a, a cover goes. Nope, sure don't. So we have one of my, my grandson's basketball game last night. So we watched that. I think I told you that a dad does Facebook Live with it, which is so nice. Mm, I feel like that's a little close to that one. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, this one had this little piece, and I like that. So let's tear this corner. Um, yeah, they lost. Oof, pretty badly. It was one of those. So... We um, watched that, and then we watched Suits. We're still on Suits. We're on season five. There's eight. <laughs> My husband's like, when are we going to be done with this? Um, I mean, he likes it okay, but not as much as I do. I told you we we're going to be making some scraps too. Unfortunately, they're not blue, which is the other color I need. Okay. So I think I'd like this, like, maybe right there. The good thing about having to prepare paper and stuff is that. Gives my glue page time to dry. Okay. And what else? What else? What else? These are, well, now that I look at them, they're more, I don't know, maybe they are purple. This one is on the Red River paper. You can tell it's a little more thick. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to hunt down some papers for the inside because, well, I can use the bits of the full sheets, can't I? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to go right right on the middle here. Feels like we return to fall, doesn't it? Okay, and I'm going to separate the flowers. Okay. I can definitely go there. I really like that though. Do I want it up here? I do. I want it there. Put the other one on the on the back. So 
so we've had a weird day today weather wise it's foggy it's kind of crazy I looked out the window as I was getting ready and I'm like is that fog <laughs> we don't get that much here so I was kind of surprised to see it but gosh no precipitation they said on the news we were in a drought again Ugh. it just makes me nervous because we live in the mountains and makes me nervous for fire season okay liking that oh this guy doing the sewing this way on it really helps hold down the papers too but i'll probably mod podge this before after i sew it usually sew it and then mod podge it that's how we go okay what else do we have here this um this one this is some good purple on this one let's do the whole thing here yeah i just i went through my digitals that were already printed i didn't print anything it's like Go through it and see see what we've got that would work. Oops, there's a little bit of blue on this one too. Yeah, I don't know in the time we have how many how many will get done, but I thought we'd do this one and then we can do the ones on the on the Amazon packaging because then we don't have to you know, create the base really. Oh gosh. Okay. So I'm going to tear it right there and I've got this little space right here. I think I might go here. And tear off this little bit. And put that there. Okay. Okay. Oh, it looks like we have a little spot there too. Let's do that. Actually, this would be, that would be good there. Um, why is that not right there? That's a very little piece. Okay, and then I'm going to put this here. that and then I was thinking this right there so we'll give that a bit of a rip going to have some of this for on the inside too so that's going to be good okay there's the front yay like it 
Okay, now for the back, which is going to be, you know, it's not like we're making it for journal cards and going to put neutrals on here. We're going to put um, more purple and such. I don't know why I don't have a real reason, but I usually start... Um, in the corners just get the corner done I don't know why that is but I guess it's the way my brain works always scary to have a vision into my brain let's see oh there's a good there's a good purple rose right there missed that first time around let's get a piece of that And I'm just gonna go like this. Oh, okay, I gotta go this way because otherwise I'm gonna chop off the birdie's head and I don't wanna do that. Okay. Sorry, birdie. Yeah, so we have not been doing a lot this week. That's, I was, I think I told you at the beginning of the week, I was so excited to have a week where, you know, I'm just basically not doing too much. Tomorrow I have lunch with my friend Darby. That's it. Montana Girl Dreams on Etsy. That's my friend Darby. So I'm excited about that, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot. I'm going to put this here because um, when I put on book corners, that will just cover up some text and not some pretty purple. So, what do I want with this? Maybe like that. I think I'm going to take off a lot of this. for a minute. Okay, and then this strip could maybe just go along there. Ew, I don't like that. I'm going to put it here. No, that's too close to that. What am I going to do? I don't want it here because this is going to be on the spine. And if I do that, um, if I put that on the spine, it's going to flip up and stuff. So I need something wider on the spine. Maybe let's put that on there. Take care of it all in one strip. Okay. I'll go ahead and put this in my journal cover series playlist too. So that, <clears throat> so it's just there, you know. Let's see, a couple pieces of this. Let's put that. And this one. That could go there. Okay, and I just, I think I only have one more sheet that I haven't already 
torn into, but um, it's like saying I was going to put that there, I think. Um, I can use some of these on this side too. Let's see, probably maybe I'd like a strip down that away, maybe. Let's do that. to tell me in the comments what um what's your favorite sort of journal cover to make i i would be hard pressed to pick a favorite i just i think they're just so fun to make oh that's the wrong one okay well we're gonna put you over here i glued the wrong one <laughs> i was thinking about asking you to put your favorite um your favorite type of cover to make thinking about that and not thinking about what I was doing. There we go. Okay. That's good. I might do a bit more of this. Go right there with that. So bright and happy this one. Okay. That there. Let's do some of this one. I might just go like this down this way. Do you guys ever watch Dateline? <clears throat> excuse me, Dateline Daytime? I've kind of gotten in the routine of it's on at four o'clock here going upstairs and and watching that and um fussy cutting I love it because it's mysteries you know and they love a good mystery so um yeah, it's, I mean, they're real life things, real things that happen, but sometimes it's sort of a whodunit of trying to figure that out. And I don't know, I just find those kind of fun. Okay, so these two are from, why did I pick out that one? That's blue, that's not purple. Okay, well, so much for that. Um... This little bit right here, I was thinking, I think. Let's just, ooh, this side, there's some too, but I don't need that much more, I don't think. Anyway, yeah, um, it's, it's pretty. I mean, sometimes they're scary. Sometimes they're just interesting. And you know, and I always try and, whoops, I always try and figure out who done it. So that, it's sort of interactive in that way. <laughs> oh, Mike said, you're like the old lady that has to watch Jeopardy every day. <laughs> I'm like, I know, it's my program. Dateline, daytime, it's my program. Oh, let's see. Okay, I don't really want 
that. Okay, let's cut this way. I'm trying to save as much pattern for other things as I can, you know, as well. Okay. Let's see. I actually think I could put that there, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. But this, I think, is going to go right here. So we need to... It's just about right in terms of the width of it. So... Then... Right about there. We're going to have this one done. I just have two little pieces. Let's see. What would go? What would go where? I think I might just do a little piece of this for for this one. that all the way across because I can. Okay, and then a little piece right there. I might use the exact same. Yay! We got a purple one done. I'm going to go with there to there. Okay. Okay, so that'll be the inside and that will be the outside. Fun. Okay. Whilst I'm thinking about it, I think I'll square it up a little bit. Okay, so. Okay. That's good edge. is good except there's a little spot right here that's it okay and then how is it by 12 oh it's perfect awesome okay that one's ready to stitch all righty then let's grab our are these Sorry, I'm just getting, trying to get, yeah, trying to get the address off. Ugh. Okay. Okay, and this 12 by, ooh, this one's 12 by 8 and a quarter. Are you the right size? Yeah, that one's better. That one's a little short, which is fine. Just have to cut the pages more so than we will with this one. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so 
do I want to do another purple cover? Let me look. I wrote this down. This is this is my all things journal journal. I bought it somewhere on one purple cover. That's all I needed. So am I only doing one purple? So that's done. Yay. Okay. Three blue covers. So let's do this one in blue. And just see what we get and see if it will work. Oh, this would work in my yellow and blue. That would work for that. That's going to have a topper. So I don't know where I would put you. Maybe back there. Let's do a yellow and blue one first. See what we have in our pile of stuff that we can work with here. And we might have to might have to go through some papers. Okay, I'm gonna put you up there, little guy. Okay, good. Good collage fodder. That's always fun. I'm just going to tear off this white off at this one real quick. Okay. So that might be really all we have. That's blue. Okay. Yep. That's all we have. That's blue. Okay. So let's, let's grab my papers that are close first. Actually, let's look at this too. Because there's a bit that could be used out of the scrap bin. A little bit of blue there. Okay. Yellow. This could be used. Yellow, blue, there's some blue on this one too. There's some blue on that one I'll tear off. Okay. Some blue. Okay, that might be that for that. And how about this one? This is my bigger pieces, like this should be in there, and this should be in there. There's a little piece of blue there, I get to rip that out. And there's blue on there, but, ooh, that just made me think. I've got some, um, Florentine paper that could work, I think. Okay, not seeing much else there. What do we have in here? I mean, I have this little bit of blue, but... I don't know if I want to use, use that. Blue and yellow, kind of. I got, I got purple in here. Don't need it anymore. Use those blue flowers. Let's check out what's, oops. Oh, look at that purple. See, now that I don't need it, I'm gonna find it everywhere. Oh, no blue in there. Let's 
heavy hair pages. Nope. No, no, and no. There's some blue on this. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna take a quick peek here too. purple, I think. Ooh, blue and blue and blue. Okay. This one has a bunch of blue and yellow. Blue. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one has a ton of blue. Okay. Cool. That should be enough, I'm thinking. those aside let's let's get the pieces that are good to go let's see all of these can go in my scraps okay the ones that are good to go I'll set up here and then I have to rip some okay those in the scrap pile. Okay, and then we can rip that up as we want. This, I'm gonna just rip out this piece. Could do that too, but I don't think so. Um, this one, I'm just going to rip out this strip. I had to check my time. We're doing okay. Are we? Oh, we're like only 10 minutes from being done. Oh, seriously, I could do this all day. Okay, so then, oh, these, this is a rip too. Just going to rip out the blue bits. This is one of my, um, oh, what is it called? <laughs> it's not coming to me. You know the old fabric I want to say farmhouse and that's not right <laughs> oh well it'll come to me when I quit thinking about it one I wanted just the flowers out of this look purple I didn't even look in those collage pages that were right by my desk didn't even look at them a nice neutral paper it'll be good for put 
putting it on her writing side. Okay. Is that it? And the others will... Oh, this one. I just want this. So, I guess I'll... Hmm. Just want as many pieces usable as possible, you know? There we go. Okay, and then these others can be torn up as needed. So, I don't think I'm going to get this done today, guys. But, oh well. It'll be a finish it up. How many finish it up projects can one person have? Lots. Lots. I'll put that down there. Oh, I like to wrap these around too. I forgot about that. Okay. You just lay right there. Okay, this one will work work well okay yeah because the sides of these sacks you can see the in inside poofy whatever they put in there it looks like um oh gosh it looks like insulation or something foam whatever okay so Yeah, I forgot that has to that has to kind of wrap around. Um, let's use a bit of this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that like that and then I can wrap around the parts that are written on and not yellow. So good you know let's put this down the spine oops I'm just kind of eyeballing the middle. Oh, yeah, I want it to go over. Thank you. Thank you, whoever shouted that out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, he was going to go on the... Oh, he's going to have to go in the middle, kind of, or else I'm going to um, cover up his head. So let's do some of these on the corner. Get the corners done anyway before we're out of time. I don't know, we'll either work on this together or I'll show it to you one or the other and get her done. I'm going to have to find some more yellow, I think. Okay. 
Okay. There we go there. Put that down there. Sort of eyeball in the middle here. Yeah, irregardless, that's going to be upside down, but it doesn't matter. I'll probably cover it up anyway. Oh, no, that's right side up. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. These two I want in the middle. Maybe we'll do another piece of this right here with that. Yeah, that will cover the takeoff. Oh, no. I need to wrap it around, don't I? That doesn't matter. I can take that off. A little more thinking required on the whole wrapping of the corners situation. Yeah, I'm just going to go right in between here. be good. So I just need something to go there and wrap around. Maybe. No, I don't want that. Um, how about some of this? I was thinking of using some um, quarantine paper, but then, I don't know, I think I have plenty here. Maybe that'll be for another blue. This one's yellow and blue, but then we can do another one that's just, just blue. Ooh, almost didn't leave enough. But we've got just enough. Okay, I'm going to put this bird right here on the back cover. And we probably better... Yep, I better be done, huh? Okay. that I'm keeping in mind that I'm going to have a um, I'm going to have a journal topper on this so that being the case I got to think about what am I going to cover up with the journal cover and it's pretty it's pretty big um, I think I'm going to put that there and it has to wrap around too. Okay, this is my last piece. And then I'll let you go, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I kept you a little long. Oh, I just could do this all day long and be happy as a clam. Okay, I'm just going to put that like that. Fold this over. And there, and there we be. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for crafting with me. We did get this one all completely done. So that was good. And then we got a good start on that one. So 
I hope you have a great weekend. You guys just um, have a grateful day and be kind always and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.